While some people are still being scheduled for their hardware 3 upgrades, it looks like Tesla is working on hardware 4 and it might be coming to us sooner than we think. Now, of course, Tesla is always working on the next greater thing and they even mentioned hardware 4 during their autonomy day back in April of 2019. Um, what's the primary design objective of the next generation chip? We, we, we don't want to talk too much about the next generation chip, but uh, it's... Um, Safety. It'll be at least, let's say, three times better than the current system. Go ahead. It's about two years away. Die photo you had, there's, uh, the neural processor takes up quite a bit of the die. I'm curious, is that your own design, or, or is there some external IP there? Yes, that was a custom design for, by Tesla. Okay, and then the, I guess the follow-on would be, there's probably a fair amount of opportunity to reduce that footprint as, as you tweak the, the design? Uh, it's actually quite dense. Um, so in terms of reducing it, I don't think so. It will we'll greatly enhance the, the functional capabilities in the next generation. Last question. Uh, like in the nanometers, you mentioned 40 nanometers as a... I was wondering, uh, wouldn't it make sense to come a little lower, maybe 10 nanometers two years down or maybe seven? At the time we started the design, not all the IP that we wanted to purchase was available in 10 nanometer. So we'd finish the design in 14. Um, it's maybe worth pointing out that we, we finished this design like maybe one and a half, two years ago and began design of the next generation. We're not talking about the next generation today, but we're about halfway through it. All the things that are obvious for a next generation chip we're doing. It came up really briefly, somebody just mentioned that it was for safety, and we haven't heard anything about it since. Well now some new rumors out of China show that Tesla may be working with TSMC to make their next chip a 7 nanometer fabrication that might actually be hardware 4. What is going on everybody? My name is Chris. If you end up enjoying this video, please hit like and get subscribed. So the first thing we're going to talk about is just the facts that we have for now, or at least what the rumor is telling us are the facts. And it looks like Tesla is working with TSMC to make this 7 nanometer chip. Initial production is going to actually be the end of this year. Just a small batch run, looks like a trial run, with a larger mass production run of whatever this chip is coming at the end of 2021. Tesla currently works with Samsung to make their current hardware 3 full self-driving computer can you share where you're you're fabbing this part what 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 where are we fabbing it oh it's, it's samsung samsung Yes, Austin, right. Texas. This was a chip they designed in-house all by themselves. After they used to use NVIDIA's autonomous driving platform, they switched to an in-house design like they do with a lot of their stuff. Now, while at the time there's no guarantee that this is for hardware 4, uh, no one's really sure what else this chip would be. The initial run happening at the end of 2020 looks like it's only going to be 2,000 chips, which Tesla will probably be using for testing. Tesla is currently working on the full software rewrite of Autopilot, which is going to bring quantum leaps in the abilities of full self-driving according to Elon Musk. Now for now, that's really all the information we have, but it brings up a lot of questions. Of course, Tesla's already working on the next chip. It was mentioned before, Tesla's never gonna stop innovating. They're always making everything better. And full self-driving isn't something that Tesla's gonna make and then be done. It's not just gonna be like, okay, it's done. This is something they'll be developing probably forever, always making it better, more reliable, safer, more redundant. The first big question is, is this gonna be retrofitable to hardware three? If you recall, people who had hardware 2 or 2.5, if they bought full self-driving, they were upgraded for free. Of course, you paid for full self-driving, uh, but with no additional fees, they were given that hardware 3 upgrade. This gave the cars the latest hardware so they could perform all the latest maneuvers that full self-driving can do, which is stopping at stop signs, recognizing stoplights, things like that. Whereas if you don't have hardware 3 upgrade, your car cannot respond to those things. It can't do those advanced maneuvers. Now, later this year, Elon Musk said they'll be rolling out their quantum leap upgrade in full self-driving in six to 10 weeks, it's gonna be a huge jump after the autopilot software rewrite. The cars will very quickly get a lot better at driving themselves. And from there, the updates will be rapid and they will rapidly gain new abilities and rapidly become much better at driving themselves. So if by the end of the year, they're only gonna have 2000 of these hardware four supposedly chips, it doesn't really line up with that. So if we don't need hardware four for this quantum leap, what will it be for? Well, the only hint we have again is from Autonomy Day. They said it would be for safety. So I assume that's some kind of redundancy. Of course, the chip will be more powerful than what's available today. So maybe it will be more reliable, but I have a hard time believing Tesla is gonna release uh, 
full self-driving that is not that reliable. Uh, maybe they'll only let you go to level three or level four. And to have level five full self-driving where you can say sleep on your way to work or something, you would need this upgraded hardware chip. I know I would love for my car to be level five full self-driving. I think it's pretty far away, but how awesome would that be? You don't have to pay any attention. You don't even need a steering wheel in the car. You could sleep on road trips. Everybody could be hanging out. I could be playing with Giant Baby on our way down to Florida or something. Speaking of Giant Baby, this video is sponsored by Tasmanian. You can use the code Dirty Tesla to get 10% off anything site-wide for your Model S, 3X, or why, link is in the description. Now another piece that fits into this rumor, end of 2021, when supposedly this hardware 4 chip is gonna be mass produced, that's also when Cybertruck is coming out. And so maybe with that new vehicle, we'll see a new upgrade in the cameras around the car. We know the cameras in the Cybertruck are slightly different. The fender cameras are just kind of in a different spot built into uh, over the wheels. The rear camera on the Cybertruck, there's actually two rear cameras, which is really interesting. I know right now it doesn't seem Autopilot uses the rear camera. If you saw one of my last videos, my rear camera is completely covered in mud the whole time, so it couldn't see anything, and my car drove on-ramp to off-ramp with no interventions, no problem at all, and that camera was completely inaccessible. Now, do you need two cameras back there for Autopilot to take advantage of its abilities? It's hard to say, uh, but if you think about it right now, every other side of the car, so the left side, right side, and the front, all have at least two cameras, so each side has two cameras, the front has three cameras, and the rear of the car is the only place that only has one. So maybe adding that additional camera gives it some depth, something like that, or maybe we need that rewrite for that, or you need even this new hardware upgrade to have depth from multiple cameras. And finally, the big question that's gonna be on everybody's mind, are we gonna get free retrofits for this like we did for Hardware 3, or free, of course, after you pay for full self-driving? Um, that's a really hard say. I would assume not. Uh, of course, Tesla cannot just keep giving everybody new hardware for free. Uh, it's going to be really expensive. And when you buy a product, right, you get what you pay for. Uh, and these days we do get software updates and our phones and our cars and stuff do get better. But what company is really upgrading your hardware consistently every year or every two or every three years after you buy the product? It's pretty much unheard of unless you have some kind of contract in the beginning saying you will get that, which is pretty much what happened with Hardware 3. Uh, they said even before Hardware 3 was announced, they said that it was coming and all Model 3s and S's and X's sold that bought full self-driving or had full self-driving would be getting that upgrade for free. So with no mention yet of hardware for anywhere officially from Tesla, besides the kind of seems like a slip up at autonomy day, uh, we haven't heard anything. I would probably guess that this will not be included with the caveat that our cars currently today with hardware three can do everything listed on Tesla's website uh, that counts as full self-driving. So that's like navigate on autopilot in the city, making left and right turns, uh, possibly roundabouts, I would assume it would be able to do that too. But that new hardware 4 chip may just be better at all those things or may gain additional abilities on top of what's promised on the website. If you look at the website, it doesn't say anything about level five full self-driving. It says, this is our full self-driving abilities. And once you get these, it's feature complete. You get what you paid for and we're moving on. <laughs> so uh, after all those things are released, I think it's kind of a free for all. Tesla can upgrade whatever they want without having to go back and give anything to people that paid for full self-driving. I really want to learn more about this. This is really exciting. I am most likely trading in my Model 3 for a Cybertruck uh, right when the Cybertruck is available. You know, of course, things might change, but that's my plan for now. So I'm pretty excited about this. We will see. Let me know what you think if you bought your Model 3, Model Y, whatever, for the long haul, and you do not want to have to upgrade it in a year or two years like you do a cell phone to get the latest abilities. Uh, what are your thoughts on this? I look forward to talking to you down in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this one, and you will see me in the next video. So Autopilot and I are happily driving along 